As you can imagine, I use um, the oak chopping boards every day and they really do get um, a bit worse for wear sometimes. Um, but um, that's nothing we can't fix with a bit of love. So I'm going to show you how. It's all about taking care of the things we've got. So here's one that was stood a bit too close to the heat, uh, but I still have, think it has its charm. This one chops a lot of everything. Really, it needs a bit of love. Um, this isn't even an oaken rope board, but it's got a bit um, disgusting. So we're gonna retrieve the beauty of that. And then we have our very popular ram board, all looking a little bit unloved at the moment, but nothing we can't fix. And I'll show you how. You don't need a whole workshop to uh, do this. Um, all you need is a bit of sandpaper. Um, we can send you some, um, I would recommend 240 or finer. Um, uh, there, every board comes with a little bottle of oil which should last for three or four treatments. So um, you should all have had one of those if you have an open rope board. Uh, or you can go on the website and buy a bigger bottle which will last a long time. You can use a kitchen roll or um, I just use an old rag, old t-shirt. Um, but it's all food safe and also safe for your hands, so um, it is um, not a very messy job. Uh, it just requires a little bit of patience, uh, but we'll get started. So we got the um, sandpaper, I just fold it normally, and you just go and you sand um, with the grain of the oak, always with the grain. And you can see that it's getting a bit smoother and some of the marks are disappearing. Personally, I don't want to get rid of all the marks because I think they're part of the character. So I'll just go a little bit all the way around. I won't film doing all of it because it gets a bit boring. Um, but I fold this as well and just go through the grooves here where you can't follow the grain, but you just go all the way around like that. And you just keep going until you're happy with it. It's all cleaning up nicely. The next thing, I will obviously go over all of this, but the next thing is to do the edge. So again, you might need another piece of sandpaper or keep going with the same, but I just go and go through. And you don't have to worry about that side doesn't have an engraving. But you don't even have to worry about where the engraving is because the engraving is really nice and deep. Oops, a bit broke off. Um, really nice and deep. So you won't sand away the um, engraving. That will take a really long time. Um, so you can just be quite generous. As long as you go by hand, you can't actually get loose any of the engraving. So just keep going all the way around. This is a little carving board I use a lot. Um, ironically, it was made out of a house sign that didn't quite work out. So that's how it looks underneath, I bet you didn't know that. And as you can see, somebody has been really crafty on this um, and it looks really horrible. But I'm actually going to use this as an example of how we can completely retrieve it as well. So um, you can see that. Look at these marks, they're not pretty are they? Um, it's probably clean enough, but I'm going to try and get rid of them. So I went a bit mad with this one because it had the really bad stains, but I have in fact um, turned a factory made chopping board into something a bit more organic and pretty. So I think that's gonna be quite a good one, actually, in the end, it might be one of my favorites. Uh, it's an interesting shape. And I'm just making all the shapes a little bit more um, organic and handmade, really. So we'll come back to that. But what we need to do after we've sanded all the bits of wood that we want to restore, um, it's a good idea to get the hoover out and uh, get rid of all this dust for now. Okay. I've sanded up pretty much um, anything that looked a bit tired. Um, so I've got this one, this board that's now going to look quite handmade. Um, but I also have done this with our tray, which is just one that I have here that 
I use all sorts of things. So it's quite useful. I'm just going to put everything into that tray and then apply the oil. So yeah, I don't know if you can see that. So because I'm doing quite a lot in bronze, I'm just going to go for it with um, this oil. It's really lovely um, because it's obviously completely food safe, but also safe for your hands. So I actually use my hands to rub it all in. Therapeutic. Just make sure it goes into the engravings and all the grooves. Oh yes, that was the underneath. It didn't quite come out that well, but anyway, that's what happens when you use scrap wood to make your everyday chopping with. Um, still works and uh, looks lovely on some of the photo shoots. Anyway, I'm going to put that there for now to soak in. I've got oil everywhere. I even found a piece of um, bamboo board that's going to look quite, look at that luster that comes out in that wood. It's lovely. So I'm just getting it everywhere. And it's quite easy to do it with your hands. You can use a rag, of course, but I know I like doing things with my hands. Um, so this is the round board, which you will see here. Beautiful is this. Hmm? Now, this one, I'm just going to make sure that the oil soaks in nicely everywhere. Don't forget the underneath. So, I'll just rub it around the edges. This can be left um, for quite a while. There are no, um, nothing that actually makes this go sticky. It just soaks into the wood and um, and you can rub it down later, but you can feed it quite a lot and it will actually soak into the wood. Um, but obviously the more you put on, the more you also have to wipe off. So I'm going to leave it for, um, for an hour or so. Now this board, we remember, looked really um, not very pretty, had lots of ugly marks in it. Um, I don't think I got them out. Of course, if you have some marks, you can't get out yourself. You can always um, email or call us and we can arrange for your board to be picked up and um, taken back to the workshop where we can do a slightly more thorough um, job. Uh, and of course you don't need to oil, uh, no, you don't need to sand the boards every time you oil them. You should be oiling them on a regular basis just to make them easier to clean as well. But look how beautifully that comes up. Um, and just check that everything went into the engraving on this one. No, I missed a bit. So that's all soaking in. I'll just leave it here in the tray that I will oil last. So literally any piece of wood could do with with um, treating like this, and just makes it so much easier to clean. And they will not look how they look when you first got them because the wood will have taken on its own patina. Okay, this is soaked in and uh, you can see it soaks in differently at different places. So you might want to just rub it, um, wipe it, I mean, wipe it off evenly, just do a rough job initially. It's quite, um, can be quite time consuming, but it doesn't matter if there is a little bit of uh, oil left because it will just continue to um, um, to soak into the wood. But I'll work my way through this pile. So we get to this stage, um, you take a new cloth or a kitchen towel is quite good at this time, uh, time as well. Uh, quite absorbent um, to take any um, oil that might be left on this but you can see here how beautiful this um, now looks doesn't matter if there's a little bit of oil left it's completely food safe and it won't has no flavor or no uh, or no smell at all but you might need to work a little bit at getting the oil out of the engraving or it takes a bit longer for it to soak in deeper there uh, we just keep wiping i'm quite excited about having done this um, job because um, I've been meaning to do it for a while um, and it really doesn't take very long at all. 
um, you can see how that engraving comes out beautifully again. And the board there is ready to be used. I've left some cut marks in here because I think that's part of the, the charm. Um, so I would never sand it all back. But this is so easy to clean. As you know, um, wood has antibacterial properties anyway, but it really helps to, um, to keep it um, easy to clean with this food safe oil. So we have the small bottle that normally comes with your boards or these bigger bottles that you can buy on a website or in a DIY shop. It's called white mineral oil or butcher block oil. Um, and it really does bring them back to life and um, uh, makes them even easier to use. So um, there you go. Any questions or if anybody has any marks that they can't get off with a bit of sandpaper at home, um, just look up on our website the restoration of boards and we can arrange to pick them up and um, have them sanded and oiled back in the workshop um, where we obviously have different tools um, that can sand off any marks more easily for you. But we really do like to leave a little bit of um, the patina here um, because this is a completely unique board that I expect is going to be used pretty much every day for many, many years. There's something really therapeutic and satisfying about looking after what you've got. So give it a go. Nothing scary, just a piece of oak that you can't do much damage to. Um, it will just look prettier in time. There we go, back to the kitchen. <laughs>